Okay, I'm an impatient cook. So I either like to make something that, put all the ingredients together, whip it up, and eat it, like with my silly little magic bullet. Um, or I like to make something that I can walk away from and get work done without it burning. So I've been really into doing this sort of poached egg thing where I put a little bit of water in a pan, crack the egg, and then I cover it, and then it sort of simmers, and I don't have to flip it. Oh, not that it's not fun to flip an egg, but I'm not always good at it. So I have my baby arugula. I have some goat cheese, avocado. I have garlic because it's such a natural antibiotic that you always need it. I'm using some little nuts, but I wanted you to see where I get them from. You know, things just sort of magically appear in jars, um, like with these little dishes. And you wonder where they come from. They came from a jar. I had to open these up myself. All right, so this is ready here. I'm gonna take my poached egg, come here. I got a cameraman. Um, I'm gonna take it out a little water. It's so cute, I didn't have to do anything. I was able to go check email. And now, I'm just gonna put it on my arugula. I'm gonna actually sneak in the garlic underneath because it kind of warms it. Put that under there. Now I'm gonna scrape out some of the goat cheese. Blah, 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 scrapey. Scrape out avocado. Do all that out right there. I'm going to squeeze this with some lemon juice. I try and use lemon juice instead of um, salt, um, or sometimes I use both if I'm a little crazy. Fresh cracked pepper, just because I like to say fresh cracked pepper as opposed to old stale pepper. And then I got my little nuts here. I don't eat a lot of meat. Um, I'm not necessarily a vegetarian, but I do sort of prefer um, eggs and nuts. Oh, and then I wouldn't be an Italian without olive oil, just a little bit. I know you're thinking she poached it in water, so why use olive oil? I, I poach it because it's easier to cook it, but olive oil is what keeps me alive, so I will never stop using olive oil and garlic. All right, here is breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Oh, you, you take a taste of one of the, the bottom leaves? Yeah, yeah. It has to go out real, real easy. It's not the Italian's test. If it's done, you got to eat it. Here's some of my 15-second Instagram videos showing how to make stuffed artichokes. An Italian stuffed artichoke. Breadcrumbs, garlic, parmesan, parsley. This is another family favorite. It's zucchini and eggplant baked. First you put in a little egg, then in some seasoned breadcrumbs, and then a quick flash fry. And then we would layer it with some burrata mozzarella cheese and some pesto. Mm. Here's some cake balls. I already made the cake. I rolled up the balls, chilled them for a bit, melted the chocolate, and then you just put each chilled ball into the melted chocolate. It hardens right away, and then you just drizzle it with an alternating color chocolate. Then a little lemon chicken piccata where I sauteed the chicken first, then made a vegetable stock with lemon juice and a little flour, and then simmered the cooked chicken in that. The true test. Mm. Come va? Sono in paradiso. Mai visto un carciofo così? Mm. E io invece sono troppo impegnata a mangiare per rispondermi. The last piece of heaven. <laughs> Big balls. This is truly paradise. Wow. This one here, my god. You oh like? Yay! They like! Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're Italian, but I made them. They're good, eh? We don't really it's care if they're Italian. Italian. Cake balls are <laughs> universal. <laughs> exactly. Yes, really. Mm. Non coma. Right? Mm. Oh, wow. I'm always looking for more ways to get more grains into my diet. That way I can get more pizza. So, 
what I'll do is I'll steam something like uh, chicken sausages here and then I'll find all the greens that I've got in my refrigerator, whether it's green onion, spinach, kale, even lettuce. And once the, um, the sausages are, are steamed, and they're usually cooked anyway when you buy them, so you're just sort of warming them up, throw all of your greens in it, it wilts, and it's done super fast. The lettuce has a bit of a bok choy flavor, which has a little bit of an Asian. It's great, I washed the pan, I put it away, I like to steam things because it heats it up without uh, me actually having to stay by the stove. So that's one of the other reasons I like to steam some things. It allows it to cook, it takes its time, and it doesn't ruin the pan because I just don't like to spend a lot of time cleaning.